My name's Pauline, I'm one of the wellbeing mentors here at the college and Chris was referred in to me and we met just after um, the Ukraine had been invaded. Uh, so our first meeting was quite emotional really. And Chris had already started thinking about fundraising ideas. Um, she was very inspirational actually, even though she was in such a difficult place, difficult time of her life. Um, and, and I was kind of felt I needed to do something to help her and support her, apart from just in my job role as a wellbeing mentor and her, her mental health obviously, but um, for the wider campaign as well. Um, she, we contacted Rebecca, who's the CEO here, who got back to me straight away um, and organised the college to, to fully support Chris in, in her fundraising and in her campaign. Um, it's not just about raising funds and raising the medical uh, equipment that's so badly needed over in the Ukraine. It was also about the, the mental health and the support that, that Ukrainian people needed right now as well. Uh, Chris had a really great um, lesson plan for primary school children but actually it taught me more about Ukraine because I was sadly uninformed about anything really um, about Ukraine so um, I got an education as well. She was hoping to get postcards sent out from primary school children to uh, young children, uh, Ukrainian children, Russian children. Polish children, anyone who's actually been affected by it. Um, and as a sewer, I thought it'd be a great idea to make hearts, little stuffed hearts that we could write messages on. So the people of the college, um, we've had general public come in and doing them, staff members. So um, I've made these little hearts and when people come in and donate, to um, the book campaign. They're also able to write a little message on the back of the hearts and these will be sent over with the equipment, with the, um, uh, the other donations and will be given out to young people and children so that they know that the people of Hastings, the people of England, the people of Britain, in fact, the people everywhere in the world, I suppose, are actually thinking of them and supporting them. Some lovely messages written on here. This one says, thinking of you always, stay strong, lots of love, look after yourselves and each other. Um, this one says, sending love and support, hope you're doing great, stay strong. So there's lots of lovely messages that are being sent out on these hearts and they will be going directly to the young people and children who've been affected so that they've got something to give them just that little bit extra um, to keep them going at this hard time. I cannot praise Krista enough. The, what she must be going through at the moment, I, can, I can't even imagine. In my wildest dreams, I can't think how it must feel to not know whether your brother is alive or not, to not know if the rest of your family is okay or not to be here and feeling so away from them and so isolated from it all and to only have those very short messages from her brother which are basically you know just what he needs and, and not really about him or the family or anything like that um, I, I can't begin to imagine and for her to throw herself into such great work and such well thought out work it's work that is going to raise medical supplies which will go directly to her brother who is directly on the front line and helping people there. There's educational stuff which has gone out to primary schools that we'll be using in the college as well to educate people about Ukraine, what's happening there, the history of Ukraine, a brilliant piece of work. And there is the postcards from primary schools and we hopefully will be getting some of those postcards here too. And the hearts that we're working together in, this is not just me, the hearts, the idea came from the postcards, which was Chris's idea originally. So I, I can't imagine what she's going through and I have only admiration and praise for what she's doing. And I have no idea how she keeps so strong and I'm just happy to be able to support her.